Hi there, this is for the students that are preschool, kindergarten, and first grade. You guys got these wonderful iPads. So you have a case and you can unfold and unwrap that top. And you can press the home button and see if it's on. If it's not on, then up on the top, there's this little button right here that you can hold down until you see an apple. And there it is. And then it's going to turn on. And the first thing you want to do is you want to find your settings. And it's a gray little tool. Oh, I see it up here in extras. So if you click on this, this is what you need to find, the one that says settings, and you're gonna click on that. And the first thing you wanna do is you want to get your Wi-Fi set up because this is gonna get your internet on your iPad. So Wi-Fi is right here, see how it's not connected? I'm gonna click on that. And make sure that this is on green and it's going to show you all the different choices of your Wi-Fi. I don't know the name of your Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi here, I'm at Woodford. It's this one and it's going to ask you, what is the password for your Wi-Fi? So I'm going to put mine in. I'm going to show you what mine is and then I'm going to click on join when I'm done. Sometimes it takes a minute. This just means it's loading. And that check means, hey, all right, you're in. So now you're on the internet. So that this is what's called the home button. If you press that, that takes you back to your main screen. This is just a group of apps. I can tap away. Uh, I would suggest the first thing that you do is find this little icon right here. It's called Chrome. Google Chrome, you click on that. And then you're going to click on accept and continue. And this is where you are going to log in your child's Google account. You should have gotten a piece of paper that had all the logins. You should have a Schoology login for the parent, a PowerSchool login for the parent, and then on the bottom, that's where you're gonna find the kid's Google account. So you're gonna add account. And then right here is where you're gonna put in what is the kids Google. So my username is S-M-I-J-E-N-N. -N, and then you're gonna do the at sign, which is right here next to the M. And all of the kids have the same ending. It's Cincinnati, C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I, P-S, dot o r g and once you get this done you're going to click on next and then you're going to put in your password so the kids passwords are always their birthday so it's month month day day year 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 i'm going to put in my password i'm going to go up so you can't see my password and if you see that little i right here if you click on that little i it will show you what that password is so that you can see if you did it right or not. And when you're ready, you can click on next. And then you can see my little picture. You'll probably have a little letter of the kid's first name and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna turn your sink on? And yes, you do. So you wanna say, yes, I'm in. And it's saying that this is a signed account managed by CPS. We know that we wanna accept and sign in. And it's asking if you want to allow your location. This is up to you. Um, I would say yes. This helps you if you need help. And then up here on the top, you should see that little letter of your child's name. And when you click on that, it should say their account. They should be synced, all these things. That's great. We only have to do this once. But then it remembers who you are, which is lovely for when you try to go to in your app. So if I go to the home again, Clever is the other one we use a lot. And you might get a badge from your teacher. Hello, you can click on OK. Yeah.